Synology Active Backup for Business centralizes the protection of all your business workloads, whether they are on your PCs, physical servers, or virtual machines. With Active Backup for Business 2.1, workloads from Microsoft Hyper-V and VMware vSphere can be backed up to Synology NAS without any additional license fee. In this video, we will demonstrate how to create a Microsoft Hyper-V backup task and restore the virtual machine. We will also be showing you the advanced settings for triggering backups with events and schedules. You can find the details of each step and their timestamp links in the description. Before you start, please install Active Backup for Business 2.1 on your Synology NAS. For the compatible model list and supported Microsoft Hyper-V editions, please visit the link in the description. To create a VM backup task, launch Active Backup for Business and go to Virtual Machine. Active Backup for Business allows you to manage VMware, vSphere, and Microsoft Hyper-V from the same portal, which it's especially useful to businesses with multi-hypervisor environment. Go to Microsoft Hyper-V and click Manage Hypervisor, Add, to connect to your Microsoft Hyper-V. If you're experiencing difficulty connecting to your Hyper-V server, visit the link in the description. Then, select the virtual machines you wish to back up, and click Create Task to launch the backup wizard. Follow the wizard to select a shared folder as a destination. Specify the task name and configure related backup settings. Here, you can enable Application Aware Backup to ensure that the VSS Aware applications running on Hyper-V stays consistently protected and tick Enable Data Transfer Encryption to ensure in-flight encryption when transferring and moving data. Next, with the backup schedule, you can further configure the backup window to specify the available time slots for backup tasks. For example, if the server peak hour is from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m., the scheduled backup tasks will be disabled during this period. After customizing your retention policy and backup privilege, you can click Apply to start your backup. Next, we'll introduce several recovery options in Active Backup for Business. Except for the option to perform instant or full restore to the original Hyper-V server, if you have a multi-hypervisor environment, you can also restore Hyper-V VMs to VMware vSphere. Or, if you have installed Synology Virtual Machine Manager VMM, Synology's hypervisor platform, Instant Restore to VMM would also be an option to you. Instant Restore to Hyper-V allows you to instantly start a VM directly from a backup to minimize service downtime in case of a host failure. Select the VM you wish to restore for your Microsoft Hyper-V and click Restore. In the Restore wizard, select Restore to Microsoft Hyper-V and select Instant Restore. Click on Restore Point and choose either to restore to the original location or a new location with different settings. Restore to the original location if you wish to replace the original VM in the production site, or restore to a new location by customizing the destination and settings. If you choose to restore to a new location or with different settings, you may want to generate a new MAC address to avoid conflicting with another VM in the same network environment. Tick Power on VM automatically after restoration. Click Apply. The restoring task will now be performed. When a critical service is down, Instant Restore to Hyper-V makes NAS a data store for the hypervisor with a low RTO of a few seconds. But the I.O. performance might be limited. You can expect full I.O. performance using the full virtual machine restore. Besides these two recovery options, if the main production site goes down, Instant Restore to Synology VMM will turn Synology NAS into a temporary disaster recovery site by instantly running the backup image on your NAS. It can also serve as a temporary testing environment for upgrades without affecting the production site. Please refer to the video in the description to learn how to perform Instant Restore to VMM. 
Next, we'll show you how to restore one single file without the hassle of restoring the whole VM. From time to time, you might need to access any certain files on your VM backup, but you don't want to restore the whole VM. Instead, you want to minimize resource consumption. Simply go to Active Backup for Business Portal and select the files you wish to restore. In this portal, you can select the VM and its corresponding folders, files, you are free to restore and selected folders, files to the original VM or simply download them, whichever you prefer. Active Backup for Business is an all-round solution designed for you to centrally protect your business workload on Windows PCs, servers, and virtual machines. To learn more about Active Backup for Business, visit the link in the description.